From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith with more than 50 additional confirmed coronavirus cases reported for Wednesday. More persons in hospital and another death confirmed. Health officials heading into the weekend still concerned that the coronavirus situation in the country is still not where they want it to be. 56 cases confirmed for the capital alone on Wednesday, prompting a warning from the doctors' union that the spread is not under control, and if we do not get it under control soon, we could be facing a very serious situation down the road, as they put it. One way, health officials hoping to get the situation further under control, more vaccinations. Governor General Smith among those getting his second shot this week, and he's now urging people to get vaccinated. What I'm looking forward to is that... uh Other Bahamians, all Bahamians, uh, decide that they would want to come and make sure that they get vaccinated. They make sure that we can open up our country so that our economy uh, begins to tick again, that there are more jobs become available, and we have both a healthy country and a country where everybody is fully employed. And we could be getting more vaccines soon from the Chinese. Embassy officials confirming they are in talks with Ministry of Health officials, and that could lead to some of China's newly approved vaccine for us. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. We have not reached capacity yet, but those coronavirus hospital numbers continue to increase, and that is a major area of concern for health officials. Heading into the weekend, 58 persons in hospital with covid 26 at the Princess Margaret, 17 at Doctors, 8 at the South Beach Center, and 7 in Grand Bahama. Health officials say we have hospital bed space for 100 patients. There is another area of concern. Infectious disease director Dr. Nakia Forbes worried about an increasing shortage of nurses, which she says could further complicate the COVID situation. Another setback for former Life at Key resident Peter Nygaard the appeals court dismissing his application to apply to the Privy Council for ruling on their rejection of his appeal of a contempt conviction. Human Rights Bahamas suggesting a ban on male guards at safe houses after a Surinese woman took legal action against the government, claiming that she was drugged and raped while being held at one of them here last year. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight AccuWeather weather update brought to you by Bahamas Powered Light BPL, a frontal system in the Florida area generating some related weather in the northwestern part of the country. Mostly cloudy tonight, chance of showers, overnight lows from the low to upper 70s, 72 at Freeport, 74 in the capital, 78 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds light and variable overnight. The sea's three feet or less. Low tide now, the next hour on midnight. Saturday's forecast, partly cloudy. Highs in the mid-80s, chance of showers. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Do you want to increase your sales? Then advertise your business in the Tribune, the leading newspaper in circulation. Reach the market that will keep your registers ringing. Give your business the maximum exposure at an affordable investment. Advertise in our Home Buyer's Guide, Insight, Women, or Obituary sections. Let us help you get your business to the Bahamas and to the world with our online advertising spots. Professional advertising reps are waiting to offer you advertising packages to suit your budget. And consultations are free. The Tribune, your answer to increased sales. Call our sales department today, 502-2394, or visit us on Shirley Street. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. World News headlines, the U.S. another step closer to returning to normal. The Centers for Disease Control announcing now that fully vaccinated people in the U.S. no longer need to wear a mask, either indoors or outdoors. Officials calling it a great day for America. Meantime, India and Nepal among the countries heading in the wrong direction with the coronavirus surges in those countries not under control. A growing movement to have the Olympic Games scheduled for July in Tokyo canceled. A petition with almost 400,000 signatures has been sent to the Japanese government and to the IOC. Sports notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports section on TV. There's Major League Baseball and Soccer. 
Golf on TV also from England. Last weekend of regular season play in the NBA. Eight games tonight, including Buddy Heal and the Kings at Memphis. A full Major League Baseball schedule. The Marlins and the Dodgers playing tonight. No word yet on when Jazz Chisholm will return. WNBA tonight. Opening with four games. John Quo Jones and the Sun will open at Atlanta. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper. Back on the streets Monday morning. Stay up to date online over the weekend at Tribune242.com. 